What's up, everybody? It's Critical. I come before you today as a man, a very sad man, because another fucking stupid Kickstarter project annihilated its funding goal and it's nothing more than overcomplicating a product for no reason and adding nothing more than a fucking goddamn smartphone app to it. If you've been watching my videos where I shit on Kickstarters for the last month or so, then this is the final boss of everything I've been shitting on. This is the unholy amalgamation of every possible complaint I've had over the last month with the fucking horrible Kickstarters. The smart suitcase, introducing this pile of shit. Strike number one in the name alone. I know it's called the Samsara, but it also calls itself the world's first smart suitcase. That strikes one and two in the name alone. World's first, that trend needs to go away, it's fucking dumb. No one gives a shit if it's the world's first if no one's been asking for it. It's like me saying, you know what, I invented the world's first toenail condom. It's a condom made out of toenails, it's the world's first. That means people must want it, right? No, no one wants a condom made out of fucking toenails. It's nothing to be happy about that I created the world's first condom made out of toenails. And strike number two, smart. Putting smart in your product's name doesn't make it a better product. If anything, that just turns a lot of people off. It's like wearing a tap out t-shirt where you can identify a douchebag from across the room. Putting smart in front of your gadget's name just lets you identify a piece of shit. We created the first aluminum alloy smart suitcase. We live in a world of continuous movement. Creativity is everywhere. There's no creativity here. It's just a giant aluminum brick with a handle on it. This is something I could have made out of tin foil as a toddler. The only plus I can see to this design is it looks like you're carrying around a fucking nuclear football, so I guess that's kind of cool. And we are no longer limited by geographic boundaries. We developed a user-friendly mobile application. Oh, holy shit, a mobile app for something that stands to gain nothing from having a mobile app? Man, now that's the epitome of innovation. It's like having a mobile app for a pad of sticky notes. What's it gonna tell me? Yep, sticky notes are still good to use. It's about it, and the suitcase is still working just fine. That connects to sensors within the suitcase. These sensors notify you if the suitcase leaves your presence. So the app can tell me when I'm not holding my suitcase. That's useful. I guess if you're blind, that would actually come in handy, but I'm pretty sure your seeing eye dog could do the same thing. And the seeing eye dog could probably do it better because it could lead you to the suitcase as opposed to just telling you, hey, you don't have it anymore. I don't know what Neanderthal and their team thought this was a good feature. They must just think their customers are the stupidest people in the world, like koala bears who can't recognize eucalyptus that's not on the tree. Same with their customers. If they're not licking the aluminum off of their suitcase, they forget it exists, so luckily the mobile app will remind them. I'm kind of on their side though. I think their customers are probably the stupidest fucking people too, with how much money they've raised and thrown at this horrible idea of a Kickstarter. Or was opened out of eyesight. Our application will also allow you to control the LED light within the suitcase, which will assist you in the dark, and monitor the battery life powering your samsara. Now the anti-tampering thing, I can kind of see the merit in. If you're just too dumb to realize when someone's rummaged through your shit, I guess it's nice to have a reminder like, hey, someone opened this bitch up and it wasn't you. The LED thing, what the fuck's the point? I don't think there's a whole lot of people who open up their suitcases in the bottom of a well. I'm pretty sure there's lights that they can turn on. They don't need LEDs to see their shit. And battery life monitoring. I mean, yeah, I guess that's kind of useful since this thing comes with a battery bank that's built in. That's basically all this whole thing is, is an aluminum suitcase with a battery bank and LEDs. So, I mean, monitoring battery life, I guess that's good. The hardware will enable you to charge your electronic devices via USB-C cable. It will also allow you to charge your mobile device up to 10 times. You know what else can let you do all of these things? Other products that are cheaper than this and aren't built in and constricted to a fucking ugly suitcase. Our unique wheel design maximizes packing space and allows you to move effortlessly across any surface. Did they hire a robot to walk around with this suitcase here? This man's pathfinding like he's in RuneScape. It's like a fucking NPC in The Sims. And we ask you to join us for this exciting journey and support the creation of a new and better way to travel. And there you have it, pussies. It's the Samsara. With every successful Kickstarter, that's nothing more than overcomplicating an already simple and effective product and adding nothing to it except a mobile app. I get closer and closer to launching my own tungsten-coated mobile phone app compatible pair of underwear and put my own little pseudo-intellectual spin on it. The first smart undergarments. Give it a cool little slogan. It's so smart, it's nuts.
You see it's like a play on being underwear because it's going to be holding the scrotum and shit. I think it's pretty clever. And then the mobile phone app, I'll give it a little science-y spin on it that's nothing but pseudoscience. The app would tell you what the temperature is down there and then I'd come in with the fake science. According to Harvard Academia scientists and the top neurologist cryptozoologists in the world, 90% of all human diseases could have been prevented if we could have only effectively monitored our genital biomes. And thanks to this new smart underwear, we can. You'll be a healthier, happier person, your balance will improve because it'll increase your chakra pull to the Earth's gravitational core. Get your uh, smart pair of underwear for only 300 bucks a package. I'm gonna give them two or three just for a good value. And I think that'd actually probably be pretty successful. But yeah, that's it. See ya.